Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time. And I know I say it every week, uh, but it is truly so important to us that, number one, you're showing yourself that you, number for the first off, registered for this training, right? You're taking time out of your busy day. And number two, you want to walk away with nuggets to help yourself your business, right? To get out there, generate more activity, leads, referrals, etc. And you know it's time for change, right? Or else you wouldn't be on this training. This is a, a part two um, for Ken, Snoozy, Levinson, right? We're going to jump into driving traffic, uh, websites, uh, ads, uh, social media, all the above. So, I, I love to see this because we have right now the attendees are going up, but this looks like a, a record number um, for these webinars. So we appreciate once again, everyone taking the time and spending it with us this afternoon. I want you all to feel free to use that Q&A box, the question pane. Um, please, we want to hear good, bad, and different comments, questions. Um, if you have any ideas around this, any ways that we can help you help your business grow, uh, that's what we're about. And that's what today's presentation is about. So please uh, use that pain. Plus, we're going to have our question at the end of the day. And whoever answers that question first and correctly, as long as you're an active Levinson agent, okay, then you win. Uh, Apple AirPods or the Fire HD Tablet 10, the new one that just came out. So you get to pick. Um, I'll also throw in the Tim Grover uh, Relentless book that I swear by. Um, I still listen to it on the Audible version, literally, let's see, probably two to three times a month between uh, two, two of his books, Relentless and Winning, uh, just to keep my head in the game, keep my foot on the gas because it's all about mindset as we know, and you have to do whatever it takes to stay in that positive mindset day in and day out. So anyway, make sure you're paying attention, write down notes, make sure you're on until the end, because I want you to answer first and correctly and be today's winner. Also, everyone can walk away a winner, okay? And here's how, okay, very important. Go to our Levinson Facebook page, okay? And you have to be a follower or like it, and, Leave a comment, leave a review of your experience with Levinson, or go to our Google Reviews page, leave a review. And I send you uh, your, in fact, you get to pick uh, if you want Tim Grover's book, Relentless, or Mary Reed's prospecting book, Distribution Solutions, or Tax-Free Retirement Savings. You get to pick, leave a review, and we send it on us, okay? So everyone could be a winner today. Okay, so what we're going to talk about, and this is very important, so I have to put on my agent hat, and I have to say, okay, I'm Bill Levinson, I'm an agent out here from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, okay, and I need to market myself online better, I need to do a, a better job of keeping my social media content fresh, okay, and spicy and active, and I have to make sure that I'm still focusing on my day-to-day -day sales. So, you know, what's the best way to, to accomplish this, right? And not have to spend thousands of dollars a month or a, or a two, three thousand dollar startup price. Because you know, let's face it, you know, if you deal with some of these third party companies, that's the price tag that they're asking. It's literally thousands and thousands of dollars. And with our partnership, okay, with Levinson and Snoozy, Basically, you're leveraging the power of over 23,000 agents and getting this co-op discount pricing, okay? So basically, the, the entire bundle package is 130 bucks for social media and your website. So that is unbelievable, okay? There's no startup price month to month, so you're not locked in. Someone's charging your Amex every single month for the rest of your life. No, it's 130 a month, and, and that's for the entire package. So you're talking about peanuts here. And putting my agent hat on, I know it's 2023. I have to have a professional site, okay? I have to drive my friends, neighbors, network to my social media pages, to my website. And then I have to have good content 
or I'm just spinning my wheels for no reason anyway, after I already got the eyeballs on my Facebook page or on my website. So this stuff is very important. In fact, what we did just to prove my statement is we pulled up the latest LIMRA statistics for 23. And when you see this, you will understand and agree with exactly what I'm talking about today. So let's let's jump right in, Andrew. Um, what I want to do first is show you some of our recent agent testimonials. The reason why I love this slide is because you are our customer, right? We don't sell on a retail level, so we don't have like a, a consumer client, if you will. Our agent is our consumer, our customer. And without you here, right, and on this webinar and doing business with Levinson, we are nothing. And we realize that. So we so appreciate these testimonials from Stuart, Chelsea, Hal, and Bryce. And I'm not going to go over each one. Uh, also, Joshua, top right corner. But I am going to go over uh, two that, that stood out real fast, left-hand side. Uh, Stuart, I just want to say how great your annuity team is now. In this technology world we live in, people tend to criticize rather than compliment I just want to say that Ashley was a godsend. She is attentive, knowledgeable, and Josh is great too, but that is old news. Stuart, thank you. And Chelsea, I absolutely was amazed at the passion and great leadership at Levinson. I wish I would have started with them to begin with. Easy to use platform and their staff stays on top of things on the back end, okay? That's all we're trying to accomplish here. We are your back office. And it's up to us to come out and figure out what works best and what doesn't, and then roll these platforms out to you, which exactly is what we're accomplishing today with this training. So please uh, jump into our Facebook page and you can check these out. And again, leave a review and you get a book on us. Let's keep moving forward. So everybody loves cash incentives. And this is the first time we've ever done this, okay, in our 51 years of history. So we are paying you cash just on submission, okay? What does that mean? You submit an application, you get $100 cash no matter what happens. No minimum premium, no nothing, okay? So we rolled this out for 4th of July. Now, the downside is it ends on Friday, tomorrow, so basically a week and you have to be on Insure Me Now Direct, and you have to use one of the four Assurity products on the site, okay? It's so easy to use, and I know, right, putting my agent hat on again, if I use this platform with a consumer for term life up to a million, disability coverage, critical illness, or accidental death, which is basically guaranteed issue, I know once I run through this process with a consumer, I'm going to be so blown away. I'm going to come back for more. So I decided, right? Think about this, right? It's a big investment, a hundred dollars, every application submitted. Okay. 23,000 agents. This number could be crazy, but it doesn't matter. I'm willing to put our money where our mouth is and prove to you, you're going to love the system. So again, term D I C I and think about this return of premium options on every product. And if your client doesn't qualify for, let's say, term life because they're not standard or better, you can come back and offer the accidental death product with built-in ROP that's basically guaranteed issue. So it's a win-win for every consumer and the agent. So take advantage of this. And again, it's over tomorrow. But what we also did is we're giving you $200 cash if you write your first app on the system with a surety by the end of this month. We extended the contest. That's not pay on submission. You must place the first app. You get 200 bucks cash on top of very high commissions plus renewals on most products. So that is a no brainer, especially with everything we're talking about today, because why we're driving traffic to our website, to our social media pages. Okay. And we would love for the consumer to run a quote on your website and then apply on your website and then get approved on your website and then have that policy mailed to Bob in Stewart, Florida. Okay. By the time the week is up and you are paid, you move on, you're happy, you did nothing to get the business except you drove traffic to your website and or social media pages. So this is the way to go for smaller 
policies in 23 and moving into the future. Right hand side, and it's by the way, it's also 100% exclusive. No one else has the rights to Insure Me Now Direct and especially Assurity with these four products on this platform. We own the technology, so you can use this for recruiting as well. Okay, it's huge, big leg up versus your competition. Right hand side, we're going to switch gears over to the annuity department. So we just rolled this out five day, four night cruise on the Allure of the Seas, Royal Caribbean. In fact, one of their biggest ships. And we made it very, very achievable. This isn't some pie in the sky number, 700,000 of FIA premium and boom, you and a guest are in for five days. You're hitting the open seas. And then just under that, let's slide down to bottom right corner. We have a great exclusive annuity mailer program to generate leads. It's about a 2% return. So we pay for a thousand piece mailer drop for you if you write a minimum of 350,000 of FIA premium. So again, not crazy numbers here. You love MIGAs because the rates are so high lately, 550,000 gets you the free mailer drop with your name and return address. Keep that in mind, you control everything, okay? Let's keep moving forward. So you talk about change, innovation, right? Moving with the times, if you don't, you're literally in reverse. I always say riding a horse backwards around New York City in 2023, right, which you shouldn't be doing. <laughs> we need to move forward. There's no in-between. As Tony Robbins always says, you're either growing or you're diving, period. So we have to take the same analogy and say, Bill Levinson, what are we doing to move forward and change? So what we did, we have everything related to over 90 companies, life and annuity, plus everything going on at Levinson with all of our third-party partnerships, including Snoozy and Ken. And we take all this information and we take what's hot, what's not, put it in a 411. We call it the life and annuity leader. And this is our newest version. Every other week, you're going to have this in your inbox. And it just helps you to keep your pulse on everything hot and exciting at Levinson. So that's what it looks like. If you haven't received it yet, let us know. That means we have your incorrect email address. Let's keep moving forward. I have one more slide, and then Ken is going to take the wheel. So real fast, and this is proof in the pudding, as I always say. You can listen to me rant here, right, for the last 15 minutes or so and say, oh, you know, uh, Bill's trying to sell us something or, you know, I wonder if Levinson is involved with this. And the answer to that question, number one, is we don't make a penny on this. OK, and, I, and Ken will tell you the same. I said to Ken since day one, we're going on about four years now of a partnership. I don't want to make anything. I want our agents to get the best pricing possible because why if they use your system and they sell more product we're the beneficiary right obviously you're making money you're growing your business but we don't make any money until you place an app so i know this is a win 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 so anyway the proof and the pudding and the facts are in front of you why do you need a website this online presence social media which okay i don't want to beat a, a dead horse but these numbers in front of you, okay, if you're not using this stuff, okay, should put you over the curb and say, you know what, Bill, the time is now. Let's check this out. This is Limra. You can look this up on Google real fast. The 2023 Limra Insurance Study. Okay, well, let's check this out. 39% say they intend to purchase life insurance coverage within the next year. Now, this is what's big and why I encourage you to use these resources, okay? Let's scroll down that first section in blue. The intent to buy is even higher among Gen Z adults, 44%. Now, millennials, 50%. So 50% of millennials are going to go online to do some research before they buy the policy. New survey data from April 22 to March of 23 indicate that 54% of people ages 18 to 29 bought some form of insurance online. 65% of people, 30 to 49, bought insurance online, period. Hello, do you think you have to be online? Do you think it's time to have a professional website and your LinkedIn and Facebook page and Instagram up and running? Okay, yes. 
It's the time, okay? And you need someone to do this for you, right? Autopilot, as I like to say. Now, the bottom one, okay? Icing on the cake. Ready for this one? More than half of consumers buy life insurance from independent agents. And for most age groups, the preferred channels for learning more about life insurance are online media and financial advisors, okay? Proof in the pudding. Now, everyone understands you must be online. And it's not just about, oh, I have a website and I have a Facebook page that I haven't updated since 1998. No, no, that's going to do you no good. Okay, you're spinning your tires again. Everything has to be current, relevant. Everything has to be not, it, you, you have to make sure that you represent yourself, the company in a professional manner, just like as if you had a, a storefront on University Drive and you were a, a McDonald's franchisee. It's the same exact mindset, okay? So relevant, up to date, okay? It, you, ha you have to look at this like a, a clean bathroom in your McDonald's. You have to look at this as a menu at McDonald's that everybody understands when they walk in that front door. Same mindset and concept. Okay, with that said, I want to turn it over to Ken, and he's going to dive into his packages that he offers and explain why this is so important and what changes, right, have happened at Snoozy and in the industry. Ken, are you there? I'm here. Just uh, okay, getting great. going here. Okay, I appreciate everyone coming on again, as always. Um, you know, uh, Bill brought up some really good points there. He actually kind of stole some of my slides somehow telepathically, but I'll, I'll you know, I'll reiterate, uh, you know, I'll reiterate those uh, when, when I go through them. But um, let me first start off and just kind of introduce myself again and just kind of give a little background on myself. I think it makes it easier to understand my opinions when you understand kind of where I came from and how I grew up in this industry. So, you know, long story short, very much like Bill, you know, my grandfather was in the business. My father was in this business. And, um, you know, I kind of got sucked in in the late 90s. And back then we had a company very much like Levinson, where we worked with independent insurance agents and helped them sell employee benefits, Medicare, individual health, even life insurance. And, you know, my role at the company, at least initially, I mean, I think back to the late 90s, um, you know, I probably had the worst job you could ever imagine. And, you know, basically everybody, everyone who worked at this company had worked there 25 years. And I was kind of like the new guy. So they said, okay, new guy, we're going to make you drive around and go to all of our quote unquote problem agents. And you're going to have to visit them and basically teach them that they can't be faxing these 150 page applications anymore to the carriers and to us. You got to help them get set up with email and, you know, teach them that they have to use a scanner. So that was my job from about 1999 to 2001. And, you know, Probably 30% of the agents I went and visited were super happy to meet me and super happy that I was there to help them. But 70% of them were like really mean to me. And they were basically telling me like, look, I've been, you know, I've been faxing for the last 15 years and, you know, the insurance carrier doesn't care. They're going to take my faxes no matter what. And I'm never going to use email and I'm never going to use that technology stuff because it's going to cause problems. And that was always... That was always our excuse. It's going to cause these big problems and it's going to ruin my business. So as the years went by, you know, I just realized like, you know, there's, there's nothing I can do. You know, we're all business owners. Either you want to improve your business or you want to watch it die, you know, and some of these, you know, some of these agents, they just, they had been doing it so long that they were, to be honest, they were scared. They were scared to evolve. So anyway, as, as time went on for me, you know, as 2001 turned into 2004, you know, my role changed and I started to help agents have their own agency management system. Obviously, as you're scanning all these apps, you got to put them somewhere. So, you know, we were teaching people, hey, you need an agency management system and you got to put it in this. And even back then it was like, okay, well, now you need one of these websites where you can put all these forms and you can send your clients to the website to print out the form. So I started to build websites for our agents. Well, to make a very, very long story short, by the end of that decade, things had started to change, especially in the health insurance world, which is really my background. And 
uh, obviously healthcare reform was coming. So my dad had gotten older and he said, you know what, I'm going to retire. I'm going to sell this thing. I don't know if these types of companies are going to be around much longer. So he got out. He got out in 2009. And when he got out, I took my wife who was working there with me. I took three of my IT people and we formed a company called Snoozy. And basically what Snoozy is, is a company that works specifically with independent agents. And we can help you build your own website and we can help you with social media. And, you know, one of the things Bill was saying is, is he's like, look, you got to you got to use somebody to help you with this. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. I think the best case scenario is you're able to do it all yourself, right? To me, to be in complete control is always the best case scenario. So there's probably a few people on today's call that either can do it themselves or they can hire, you know, a really good employee and pay them some pretty good money to do that internally. More power to you if you can do that. But if you're at the point where you're frozen, and you're not able to do it yourself, or you're stuck, or you just, you're not sure how to do it, I think that's where Snoozy comes into play. I think that's where you have to take a look at what we do and see if we're a fit for helping you. We're not some sort of mega corporation. We're just five you know, people. This is a family-owned business. When you call up, I pick up the phone. Kerry picks up the phone. Both of us have been in this industry now 20 plus years. There's pretty much nothing you could tell us insurance-wise that's going to you know, dumbfound us. We're pretty sharp when it comes to this stuff. Um, and as Bill said, we've been working with Levinson since 2019. And, you know, basically we offer Levinson brokers special pricing on our services. And, um, you know, I'll certainly go through some of that stuff later in the presentation. But what I want to do is I want to just kind of start off with a story um, that, uh, you know, I think is is an interesting story. And, I just kind of thought about this this morning as I was updating my slides, and I guess it was about two weeks ago, I got a call, and um, you know, this was an experienced agent who basically called up and said, hey, look, Ken, I work with Levinson. I was just talking with Andrew, and he told me to give you a call. And she said, look, I've been in business for 20 years. You know, I'm pretty successful. I sell you know, multiple different products. I got a pretty good book of business. But over like the last year or two, basically since COVID, you know, I, I've started to lose referrals and, you know, it's, it's been very obvious. Like I've had people where I have good initial phone calls with them and then they say, well, can I see your website? And I tell them very bluntly, I don't have a website. I, you know, and, and, you know, to some extent, what basically this agent was saying is, is I don't need a website. I provide old school service. I'll come meet with you. I'll sit with you. I'm going to give you everything I got to help you. And I'm just going to tell you right off the bat that if that's your model as an agent, fantastic. I hope you keep doing it because it probably gives you an edge. But for whatever reason, this agent, she didn't understand the purpose of the website. I think she thought that a website would replace all of that, that she would become an e-commerce center, where that's not the case at all. All these consumers are looking for is to make sure, are you legit? Like, you know... It, how can you not have a website in 2023 if you're telling me you're the greatest agent ever? You know, so I think that's where, for whatever reason, and, and long story short, she did not get a website through me. She basically said, I'm not going to change. I'm going to keep offering personal hands-on service. And I kept telling her, you can keep doing all that. I just want to make sure that if somebody Googles you, they find this website that tells them, I'll come to your house and sit with you. And for whatever reason, something got lost in the translation with her. And I just, I kind of flash back to the old fax machine story. There was just certain agents that I would tell them, I go, look, it's going to be easier. All you got to do is scan it into this thing. Then you can have a record. You're going to get a confirmation that it goes through all this kind of stuff. And they said, no, 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 I'll never do it. Well, you know, what can you do? There's just some people that are like that. So today's theme is to kind of hit on all of this that you just cannot be a phone number to people. And, you know, that one agent, and it, hey, if you're on today's call, I'm not trying to pick on you. Obviously, I'm not giving any specifics. But, you know, like I said, there's just, and it, the funny thing is, is this agent admitted it. She said, I've, I've lost 10 to 15 people who have said, I want to work with you. All I need to do is verify you via a website. And she didn't want to do it. So to me, that's a, it's a big part. The consumer out there, they have a lot of choices, right? There's independent agents, there's big corporations, 
their sleazy call center commercials, whatever. The consumer has more choices than ever. And in today's market, you have to prove you know, why they should choose you, why they should work with you. And I think having a business website is one check mark. Having a social media presence, whatever that might be, is another big check mark. And we'll, again, we'll go through this in a few minutes. And what also has become really important is having a Google business listing. And you'll see I kind of have a sample up here. You know, when people are Googling you, we want them to find this listing. This one agency, and this is one of my clients, 57 5.0 reviews. If I'm a consumer, it's like, okay, that checks off. These guys are good. They got 57 people giving them five out of five. It, again, it, it's credibility. And where I think a lot of agents, especially when you first start off, you get fixated on the products and the carriers. I have all these carriers. This is why they're going to want to work with me. And the reality is, is anybody who's really successful selling insurance, they already have all the carriers too. So it's an equal thing right off the bat. He's got all the carriers. She's got all the carriers. So what, what's going to separate the two of you? Why should I choose one over the other? And in my opinion, that's where we're trying to go in today's call is to figure out how do we differentiate ourselves? And this was one of the slides that I feel like Bill kind of stole from me somehow. You know, I always kind of say, like, think of yourself like a restaurant, right? Um, you know, in this industry, when you really start to become successful, you're getting referrals. That's really the key, right? You go, you help somebody, you really make a difference in their life, and then they go off and they say, hey, oh, you know, you just bought a house. You should talk to my, you know, my guy, Tommy. He He's excellent in helping you with mortgage protection or, or whatever it might be. And I, I think it's kind of like the same thing as a restaurant. Think about it logically. You're, you just went to the 4th of July barbecue. You're sitting there, you know, you're talking to people for a long time. Next thing you know, someone says, hey, what's your favorite place to get like a good burger and a beer around here? And, you know, the person says, oh, yeah, I love the Black Horse Inn in, in, in Mendham. They're great. So what do you think most people do after they get the old Black Horse Inn in Mendham like referral? They probably go onto their phone, they type in Black Horse Inn Tavern, and you know, they look at the listing. Then, you know, obviously there's the website, there's the Facebook page. You know, they can go to the website, get a sense of what the menu is. They can go onto the Facebook page and obviously, you know, get a feel for the vibe of the restaurant, all that kind of stuff. To me, as an insurance professional, I know this sounds crazy, but you are no different than a restaurant. You are trying to create an experience, a consumer experience. There's no way you're ever going to make it if it's just about the products, because everybody has the products. And no offense, as an insurance agent, you don't control how the products get created, but you do control you and your brand. So that's where I usually try to start with people when they say, well, you know, I think I need a web presence and I'm not sure which direction to go. I say, well, we got to work on selling you and creating a brand. And not only that, because we don't want to create a billboard, we want to create something, something functional so that maybe before you have a meeting with this person, they can go to your website and they can click on your calendar and they can schedule a meeting with you. And then maybe after they've chatted with you or even before, they can go into the Insure Me Now direct portal and they can play around and get a sense of the pricing. To me, that's really where you need to get to is to have, you know, kind of three components. You got to have that business website that really does a good job at telling people why they should work with you. And, and that's the number one thing I see out in the market. People will say, look, I have a website. And I'll say, okay. Let me take a look at it. On the website, it mentions nothing about them. Their name isn't on it. Their picture isn't on it. There's no carriers they represent on it. There's no testimonials from clients on it. It just says, you know, whatever, Bob's Insurance. We do life insurance. Click here to call us. And it goes back to that slide I, I had up here. You can't just be a phone number. You have to be, create kind of a real entity. And, you know, uh, like I said, if you if someone's going into Google and they type in your company name, and this is just an example, this Buckley Insurance Group, look, you type in Buckley Insurance Group, you can go to their website, 
They have a Google business listing that has reviews. It has obviously directions. It's got links to their social media. Then as you scroll down, it's got their social media pages. It's got their Better Business Bureau listing, whatever. To me, these are all components that this is a legit business that is real, that is obviously successful and clearly helping people. And I think that that's a big part of what you need to work on. Here's a sample of one of my clients. And this is not you know, the most complex website ever. His main feature is his calendar. You know, he sends people here before he talks with them. It says, go into my calendar, click on the day. You can see my availability. You can set it up. And the reason he does that is that calendar has, and, and I know Ringy does this. If you're using Levinson's Ringy, it, it goes into the agency management system. It sends reminders about the meetings. It creates business structure. Um, you know, if you look at this guy's section, he's got a little overview on himself. He's got a nice professional photo, an overview of why you should work with him. Obviously, he's got all his carriers he works with. He's got a lot of testimonials from deep, different people. He's helped pretty good stories. This gentleman's bilingual. So some of them are in English. Some of them are in Spanish. Um, you know, I don't want to, you know, nitpick the specific site. But my point is, is there was some thought that put or was put into this. And that's where I usually start with people. I say, we need to have a game plan that if you're out there doing marketing, or if you're out there getting referrals, people are going to background check you. So we need to have a plan in place to control you know, the narrative on what they're doing when they're background checking us. Yes, it's great that we can have pages about all the products you have. Those are good. But to be honest, most of these people are probably far more interested in the testimonials. They're probably far more interested in learning more about you and then what the next step is for working with you. Um, so to me, that's where I start people. Once you get to that point, then I say, okay, well, now we need to work on functionality. We don't want to just have a billboard. We want to have tools on the site that help us because the big picture here, guys, is to get cross sales, right? It's great to help people with one thing, be great to help them with life insurance, even better to sell them an annuity. You don't just sell somebody an annuity out of nowhere. You got to gain their trust. You got to do a good job helping them. So in my opinion, if we can build little things on the site that from time to time we can send people to the site, like, oh, you need to do a customer service call? Hey, just go to my website, click on my calendar, set up a customer service meeting with me. Oh, you have a few questions about, you know, um, the differences in whole life and term insurance. You can go to my website. I got a few videos that review that. I have an FAQ section that goes through that. Go through that. Give me a call if you have any questions. It's about making your website part of your model. And I think that that's where so many agents have struggled over the last 10 years because, the idea of getting a website is certainly not new to anyone on today's call. And I, I'm willing to bet that some of you who don't have a website now have maybe had one in the past and got frustrated. And I think the main thing I always ask is I say, look, when you had that website and when things didn't go well and when you wasted all that money, you know, how many times a week were you sending people to the site to do things? And almost everyone says, never. I never sent anyone to the site. I was just hoping people would find the site magically. And, you know, I always kind of stress, I go, well, that's where you went wrong. Everyone's got a website now. So it's hard to expect that people are just going to magically find you. You have to have a lot of different buckets. You know, you got to use the site before the sale. You got to use the site after the sale. You got to market the site. You got to get the site out on various things. And, and I know, you know, some of you who might just be starting, once you get a website, the next call might be to Levinson. I mean, I know the guys over there have a tremendous amount of tools to help you guys, whether it's email marketing, they have all sorts of stuff. And that's usually the first thing I tell somebody who comes to me from Levinson once we've built the site. I say, you probably want it in the next, you know, a few weeks, either reach out to Andrew or whoever, you know, is below Andrew who can help you. Have a call with Levinson and find out what you can do with this website because, to me, that's the key to the next step. And I, and I think so many agents, they get kind of paralyzed. Um, so obviously, you got to have the website. Two, you really need to have that social media presence. And I, I get it. In this day and age, there's a lot of choices. There's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's LinkedIn, there's YouTube, there's Twitter, you know, there's TikTok, there's 
alignable. There's a lot of things. And I get that it can be overwhelming. You probably want to think about who your target market is and then maybe do some research on, you know, which social media is best for that target market. Obviously, if you're targeting people like 55 and up, Facebook is probably for you. If you're targeting business owners, LinkedIn is probably for you. If you're targeting younger people, 20 to 40, probably TikTok and Instagram is for you. YouTube is just basically where you're, if you're making videos, you can house them. But my point is, is that once you create these pages for your business, you have to understand that you're accountable for them. That when people Google you, they're going to find them. And like Bill was joking around, they can't come to your page and see that you haven't posted since Halloween 2020 because it looks like you went out of business and that you don't care. And the problem in our industry is that there's a lot of agents who do come and go. They try it for four or five months. They, do, they go crazy. They do a lot of marketing and they burn out and they get nothing. And a lot of these consumers have talked to these people where they were promised a lot and then the person disappeared on them. You want to project yourself as something totally different. You want to project yourself as the pillar of credibility, professionalism, and whatever your model might be. Um, so obviously having the site, having the social media, having the Google business listing, these are easy things that are basics you got to have in place. So how can I really help you? You know, really, you know, I always tell people, I'm not here to change you. Just like that one agent, she just didn't understand. I, I told her a dozen times, I said, look, if you want to go out and drive and sit with people all day long and talk to them and shake hands and have lunch with them, fantastic. Keep doing it. I want to help you do that better. And I think that's always been my theme for the last 20. I mean, I've been building these sites now 20 years. I've told the same story. It's never changed. I don't want to change your style. I don't want to change the way you do business. I want to understand it. And then I want to come up with ideas on how we can build a website that kind of emulates all that. And my only disclaimer is I say, look, if you come to me and say, Ken, I don't have a style. I don't have a product focus. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I don't have an answer for that. I work best when people come to me and say, hey, look, this is how I get new clients. This is how I get, I, I offer my customer service. Ken, how can you make me do that better? How can you make me do that more efficiently? We're masters at that. My goal would be to talk to you, go through all that kind of stuff, brainstorm, give you some ideas. If that sounds good, if like where there's some synergy, you and I would set up an interview, kind of format it all. I can give you a list of what I need. And then it takes me about four days and I'll build the entire site for you. I'll come up with all the content. I'll make it look really nice with pictures. Um, you know, obviously, if you have things as well, like if you have an agency management system like Ringy that you want to incorporate in, if you have the Insure Me Now Direct and you want to put that in there, if you have, a, you know, obviously a calendar or, uh, you know, some sort of chat bot, Whatever you have, I can make it work. Videos, I can build it all in. But to me, that's our starting point is we need to do an interview and go through all your puzzle pieces. And I will be as blunt as possible on what I think is going to work best when we put the puzzle together. Um, so again, as Bill said before, we try to keep it pretty affordable here. There's no setup fee. You get a one month free trial. I am a big believer in in kind of proving that we don't mess around here. So like if you said, Ken, how does it work with pricing? If I signed up today, I'd say, okay, well, today's July 6th. You're going to sign up. We're going to do an interview. Then I can email you a list of what I need. And then it's going to take me about four days to build it all out. At this point, you have not paid anything. Um, and then uh, I'll send you over a rough draft. We'll polish it up, get it set up on the domain name. And then on August 6th, you'll pay $69.99. And that becomes a month-by-month -month contract for as long as you want the website. Do I raise pricing? No, I do not. Not for current clients. I do raise pricing for new clients. So what that means is, is next year, I might make it $79.99. Hey, I got my own costs. I got my own problems. Sometimes I have to raise pricing. But I raise it for new people who aren't my clients. And that's something I have done since 2009 when I started this company. 
And every now and then I have somebody who says, hey, this person told me to talk to you and they're only paying $49.99 a month. I said, yeah, well, that person's been with me 10 years and they've earned that right. Um, you know, so that's kind of how we do business here. Like I said, we're kind of a, a family owned business, old school. I believe in relationships. The way I make money is I work with people for years, not a few months because they're fooling around trying to change something. So anyway, the $69.99, I try to, I try to create structure and just be, like I said, blunt with people. It includes building the site. More importantly, if you need changes to it, great. I encourage that. I know my clients who make changes to their site. They're with me forever. We try to make them as fast as possible. It's usually one to three hour turnaround during standard business hours. Obviously, I'm going to host the site. I'm also going to provide an SSL certificate. So that's included security. Um, but I think most importantly, like Levinson, I just want to be your back office for this kind of stuff. I want you to know that if and, and I get these calls all the time. Someone will call me up and say, hey, one of my carriers just came out with this new tool or Levinson came out with this new tool. I don't know what to do with it. I say, yeah, give me a call. Let's talk through it. That's the purpose of what we are. We are, our background is in the insurance industry. I'll listen to what it is and I'll tell you, I'll say, hey, look, you know, I think for your model, I think this is how it's going to help you. Or I'm not scared to tell you, hey, no, this is a distraction. We don't want to put this on the site. It's going to have a negative impact. Um, you know, like I said before, we can add anything to your site. We custom build them. You know, if we need to put scheduling stuff on there, your online shopping links, videos, if we need to incorporate your CRM, we can incorporate those forms on. I'm starting to get people now who have automated AI chat bots, all that kind of stuff we can easily add. Um, and it's, it's kind of part of the deal. Now, with social media, like I said before, I think where most agents go wrong is they'll go to a webinar, probably like this one, and they'll hear, okay, I got to use social media. So they'll create a Facebook page, they'll create a LinkedIn page, and they'll go crazy for about four days. They'll post 20 times a day, and you know, after about four days, they don't, they don't get any results. And they get very discouraged and they say, oh, gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. And then they give up. But what they don't realize is when people are searching for them, those social media pages kind of come up on the top searches. So now somebody's been referred to them and they're going to kind of the Facebook page. And, you know, if they don't see any good activity on here, you know, it becomes it becomes a problem. So that's kind of what I try to do for agents who basically say, hey, I can't do it myself. You know, we'll kind of create really nice custom graphics and we'll try to post, you know, very good educational content about the products you offer. And um, that's really what our social media services are. We'll make sure you have a Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter page. We'll post educational content Monday through Friday. Um, this service, it, it's separate than the website. So what I'm trying to say is, is if you say, Ken, I already have a website, I don't need the website, but gosh, I'd love if you could help me with social media. Our social media services as a standalone are $75 a month. If you needed help with the website and the social media, that's kind of like our bundle package, our elite package. I just want to be very clear. The website package by itself, that one comes with a free trial. The social media where we do the posting you kind of, you pay up front for that. You pay the $75. And if you want the website and the social media, the 130 a month, there's no free trial with that one either. I mean, in my opinion, once we start doing the posting on social media, like this is for the, you know, the heavy hitters. You're you're ready to ready to play the game immediately. Um I just wanted to kind of clarify that. So, what I suggest is, you know, if you found any of this stuff interesting, Try to check out levinson.snoozy.net. That is a special website I created um, for Levinson agents. And, you know, if you go on there, let me see if I can just pull it up real quick. If you go on there, uh, I have all sorts of good stuff on here. I have obviously samples of different websites we've built. Um, again, we don't just do life insurance. Whatever products you sell, we can include it in the site. Uh, I have obviously an overview on all the different services. It reviews the pricing. I have little videos. I have uh, actually a very good 10 minute demo that just goes through everything. This, in my opinion, this would be your starting point. If you said, you know what, 
maybe I should talk to this guy, Ken. Go in here, fool around when you get a chance. And if you want to set up a call with me, click on I'm interested and just fill out this little form. It'll email me your info and I'll just send you over my calendar and we can set up a 15 minute call. I mean, that's really how the process starts is we need to set up what I call a free consultation. 15 minutes, I wanna talk through your product focus. I wanna talk through where you are with technology. Are you nowhere, somewhere, you know, doing really well? And I wanna make sure that we have a game plan because again, that's where I think most people have failed. They go all in on these things, but they have no concept of how to integrate it into their model. And I think to me, that's the theme of today is that these things are great, but you need to have a way to incorporate it so that you don't feel like they're very heavy, right? And I think to me, that's what we're very good at doing is just talking with you and coming up with a plan and kind of taking on the technological aspect. So let me just kind of answer a few FAQs and then uh, I'll bring Andrew back. I don't know if any questions have come in. I honestly, I can't see him and we'll, we'll go from there. So, you know, usually the number one question I get is people will say, look, I already have a website, right? I got bobsinsurance.com and I got email for that. If I decide to kind of work with you, how does that work? Do I have to get rid of my web address? Do I have to get rid of my email address? The answer is absolutely no. Yeah, we're not getting rid of anything. What we would do is, like I said, build out a rough draft of the new site. Your old site would say up and running. And then once you said, okay, this is great. This is so much better than what I have. Then we would go into where you bought that web address, whether it's Google Domains or GoDaddy, and we would kind of pull out your old website, plug in the new site, your email is going to stay status quo, and just the new website will display on your web address. So that's no issue and not even a, you know, very simple. The other main question I get is, is people will say, look, I love social media. I love posting, but the reality is, is I only get to it like once every two weeks and I just get busy or whatever. If you do the posting for me, am I still allowed to post myself? And the answer is absolutely, of course. You know, what I always try to say is we're kind of like the daily drudgery. You know every day that we're gonna find and post content for you. But if you have time here and there to go do something really creative or have pictures of you hosting some sort of event or whatever, yeah, go do it. It's only gonna help the big picture my concern is keeping this stuff active and looking good. So with that being said, uh, I'll bring on the other guys and we'll go from there. Okay, good stuff, Ken, as, as always. Um, and all questions, comments, by the way, uh, Andrew's gonna get back to every single person. And then if we don't get back to you right now in real time, um, we will reply as soon as we hang up this call in about nine minutes and then we can always patch in Ken if there's any questions uh, where we need to get him involved as well. So no problem with that. So I think, you know, right now you, you just heard a great presentation and, and you see and know the importance. And, and, and it doesn't matter if you're fresh out of high school or college or you're in your 70s and 80s and you're doing this for 63 and a half years, you see the importance. And you know, when you hear about, and I'm sure you've been on my prior webinars or podcasts, we had a, a record case come in about uh, 10 months ago, and it was uh, about $1.2 million of target premium, okay? And the agent walked away with a commission check for over a million dollars, okay? The agent that wrote that case was in his 80s. He was at our expo, and that case came from a Facebook lead. Okay, and, and you heard me mention this before. It, like I said, if you were on past trainings, so even here's a, an example, right? You're you're in your 80s, and and this agent knows I got to get out there. I got to share my story, my message, right, to my network of what I do and how I can help these people. And it sparked interest, a question, a comment, and then boom, a monster sale, biggest case we ever had in 51 years. Okay, so. Don't look at this like, oh, this is for the youngsters, my, my niece or nephew, my grandkids are into this stuff, and I don't need to worry about it. You do, because 
what happens is, and I, I've spoken about this before, is you have a book of business and you know they're not going anywhere. They love working with me. I have the gift of gab. And when long-term care annuities, life insurance comes up, they're going to uh, call me on the cell. Okay, great. What about their children and their grandkids? Okay, they're not. They're going to they're gonna first look you up online and say, oh, Grandma Shirley, you know, she introduced me to this Bill Levinson guy, but I can't even find him on Instagram or Facebook or Google. You got to have the online presence or they're going to go to the next guy or girl that's very active on YouTube or Facebook or whatever it is, right? We know how it works. So I always look at it and say, yes, focus on the day-to-day, -day, right, on your left side because that's a no-brainer. That's your bread and butter, okay? On the right side, what's next? What What's on social media? What fresh content do I have? Can I put up a video about tax savings, uh, retirement planning and strategies, right? Can, can I put something up about these high annuity rates that, that we've seen this year? It's just enough to open the door and open the door to a new conversation that leads to a sale. That's how you have to think, right and left side constantly. And how do I know it works? Our entire business was built just like that with that mindset. Okay. We started, but well, I started 20, 24, 25 years ago. Right. And we were the first IMO to have a website with a quoting engine. Okay. And then little by little, we had 300 agents with internet, with uh, the website, with social media marketing, e-blasting, social media ads. Guess what? 23,000 in a sh pretty short time. Okay. So it works proof in the pudding. Now you're an agent out there. What should you do first? Okay. So I always like the four prong approach. I, 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 I see something interesting on a bus bench or, or, uh, I met someone at a networking event or whatever. And I say, gosh, this would be great for my business, but you automatically have to think, right? Website, Number one, because that's your storefront, right? You're going to put the new sandwich on the McDonald's menu. So website, social media, e-blasting, right? Because you want to make sure that every person in your database gets word of the new sandwich that's for sale that, that, that just came out. And then the last thing is I would throw them into Ringy. So you have all these clients that are in Ringy and you want to get the new sandwich information out to your whole database and click a button on autopilot where they get a text, email, phone call, and then they get the same thing again for round two, three weeks later until they click schedule appointment. Okay. That's how you have to think with everything you do. So in front of you, if we can dive into the packages, real fast. And I know we're running a little behind, but it's okay. This is great information. Then we're going to have our question of the day. So that's option one, bottom left corner, what Ken discussed. And then option two is the top right corner. That's all packages wrapped up in a bundle. And that pricing is awesome, by the way. That's about 20 to 40% less than any other third party. In fact, probably 50% with some of the competing carrier companies out there. Uh, bottom right corner, if you want to set up your own Facebook ads, Ken will do a 30 minute session with you, almost like a coaching session to teach you how to do this. And then he'll record it, send it to you, and you can use it for reference to go back again a month later, two months later. But that's where most of the fresh leads are coming from. Facebook ads are hot right now. Okay, now the next slide is that follow up ringy tool I was talking about. About one of the, the four prongs, right? So if we can keep going uh, real fast. So the Ringy tool, think about everything like this. You have your big bucket of prospects, okay? And, and, and it doesn't matter if it's your Aunt Betty, if it's your Uncle Bobby, if it's someone from the networking event, throw everyone into the Ringy bucket, okay? And what this system is going to do, it's going to spread the word through texting, email, calling and say, hey, it's me, Bill Levinson. You know, I'm the guy that, that you met at the networking event. And and by the way, I uh, can share strategies about uh, tax savings advantages and, and uh, uh, state planning and, and mortgage protection and all the above and click here to schedule an appointment with me. Okay. And it's going to go through these campaigns and hit each person 
exactly how they want to be communicated by. If it's texting, great. Phone call, great. Email, great. So that's how you need to look at Ringy. The right-hand side, Agency Automator, this is a database that has millions of consumers. You can go in and enter search criteria for zip code, age range, household income, and the system will give you prospects that you can market to. Okay, so we have all corners covered here. Next is AssureWorks. So think about this, and I, I want to try to simplify this for everyone. If let's say you have a thousand people in your database, right? Friends, book of business, all the above. And you enter in every, and by the way, you can do this through an Excel spreadsheet, very simple. Everyone now is in your SureWorks database. When these people go online and look at ESPN because they want to check the, the basketball score last night, they're going to see your ad pop up on the, let's say, the top right corner that says Bill Levinson, Levinson and Associates, uh, mortgage protection, long-term care, critical illness, you know, with my phone number, right? Bill Levinson's phone number. And the point is that your friend or neighbor or whoever it is that sees the ad says, wait a minute, I know, Bill, this is crazy. Or, hey, I was just looking for mortgage protection insurance. And then, boom, awareness creates the appointment, the sale, boom, you're done, you move on. That's how AssureWorks operates. And they, by the way, they do the same strategy with real estate for real estate agents. So just to give you an idea of how that works, uh, the next slide, these are hot exclusive leads available to you, co-op, discounted pricing. The left side, these are Facebook leads. And the way they're marketed to consumers, up to a million dollars, no exam, life insurance. Okay, and these people are clicking, then they're saying, I want more info. So you can pick local leads or statewide. It's 40 bucks or 30 bucks. You get to pick. Those are awesome. Uh, right hand side, these are very, very good for final expense, okay, which is an easier, tends to be an easier sale. And then we also have a second chance lead for just two, three dollars a lead. So a ton of options here if you want to buy leads or if you want to generate your own leads and run Facebook ads, that's fine too. The next slide is I wanted to give everyone examples of social media posts that are working great. I do this every week now, and the whole point is you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just change a few spokes. Um, let's look at these are four top performing posts. Uh, left side, right? It's basically all about awareness. But this quote, it's your job to ask me about life insurance. Don't make it your family's job to ask me if you had life insurance, right? That post created 544 likes, over 45 comments, which each comment you should be reaching out to because they're asking questions about your quote about life insurance. So that is a potential lead. Uh, let's move over one more section to the right. Do this instead of giving your kids an allowance, right? What about a children's IUL? Can you imagine the retirement opportunity, right, for a seven-year-old, for an 11-year-old with a $100,000 IUL? Most people have no idea the way this works. And it's very inexpensive. So again, awareness. Um, and let's move over again. What is mortgage protection? We all know that's just no exam term life insurance, which is 90% of the term products available today. But again, the consumers don't know this. It's awareness. Let's move over one more side, uh, right-hand side. Remember, you can't get life insurance when you really need it. These created a ton of likes and comments, which all could lead to new leads. You've got to get the word out there is my point. Uh, the next slide here, these are all sample ads. We have a library of e-blast marketing pieces, all the above. So you can go into our website, okay, and go on co-brand videos, templates. All of this is free. So you got to run with this. We'll include all of this information in the thank you email. The next slide here is Jeff Hill. This was a podcast we launched last night. And this is a great interview where I put my agent hat on and I basically pretend that I'm you. And I say, Jeff, what's working? What's not? How did you build your business during a recession? And you're still growing your business. And here we are in 23 in a slight recession. And he gives us a great story, great background, how he cut his teeth 
you will love this. Jeff was at our expo. I interviewed him. He's been with us for almost 10 years now. You will get a ton of nuggets from this episode. The next slide, we're almost done here. We'll put a bow on this, is nationwide, right? We're giving away free CE credit if you are on our webinar. We partnered with Nationwide on the 27th at 3 p.m. So you got to be on this webinar for your CE credits. And again, this is going to be a win-win for everyone because all life and annuity agents need CE. And you're going to learn at the same time. And then again, more nuggets. Second to last slide here is upcoming training events. So I'm going to focus on the section in blue on the bottom, right? We have Arisipedia software. If you're looking to market to business owners, no brainer. This one's on the 13th, so that's next week. And then Levinson's Life and Annuity Agency Automator, I just touched on briefly. That's going to be on the 20th. And then on the bottom is our CE course and webinar. That's on the 27th. And then our last slide here and our question of the day. I'm going to make this quick. But first, my Positive Tuesday quote. This is a big one, right? And it has to do with what we're talking about today and how you need to make a change. The biggest obstacle you will ever come across is the one in your own mind, okay? Get over the hump, do one tiny thing daily, and you'll make the necessary changes. But you got to do that one thing. Start there, and the rest is history. I promise you, okay? I got to focus on this every day. And I'm making these changes every day. And I have my little yellow post-it note with the three most important points that I need to work on daily. And little by little, I look back six months, a year, and I accomplish those goals. So try to do the same thing. It's all about tiny changes daily. My question of the day, Ken spoke about, well, first, I'm going to tell you to get your little fingers on the keyboard because you got to be first and you got to be correct. My question is, Ken spoke about the website and social media bundle, okay? What is the monthly price for his entire bundle with website and social media hosting? You tell me the monthly price, and you win. Your choice, Apple AirPods or the Fire HD tablet. Andrew's going to tell us who the winner of the day was. Andrew, first and correct. Okay, first correct is Carol B. Carol B. Carol B, congratulations. 130 bucks a month includes everything. So Carol, congrats. But everyone's a winner today. Why? You walked away with nuggets, some insight. Okay? These little changes that are necessary every day to move forward and grow. It's gotta be done. There's no other way or you're in reverse. And we don't want to be in reverse. So let's all get it done. We'll uh, keep your eyes peeled for our thank you email you have in your inbox before we wrap up today. Thanks again, everyone. Good selling and take care.